Hello pilots and welcome to a new video here in cold Germany. Uh, just a quick plane presentation basically. Uh, this is the so-called Helix wing. Um, Helix is initially only a work in progress name. Not sure if it will change when it, it gets finally released. But the special thing about this one is it's fully 3D printed. As you can see here, maybe in the video is a bit hard to uh, gasp. Uh, this is printed in complete lightweight PLA foaming uh, filament and this is meant to be very lightweight and here yeah, as you can see the Helix is a, a swept forward wing, very aerodynamic, very uh, speed and efficiency optimized and today I want to see if it works. Currently this is a prototype, um, the final version will have a few slight changes and yeah, let's see how that prototype works and if we can get, get uh, any feedback to the developer and see uh, what can be optimized afterwards. Because it's very cold, I don't want to make it too long. Just a quick overview. There's a 2206 quad motor here in the back, a team motor Velox, 2400 kV, um, 4S, 1500 milliamp hour uh, quad lipo, AKK FX3 VTX, uh, Cadix Rattle 1, I think, uh, FPV camera, and an old Matic F411 wing flight controller in here, as well as a BN220 GPS. So let's close this up and then see if we can get it airborne. I hope I did everything well. I need to be a little bit careful with the throttle because this is uh, this motor on 4S with this prop will likely burn up if I go full throttle all the way. Luckily, it's pretty cold outside right now. And yeah, let's see how that works. Unfortunately, I just saw that the prop seems to have a crack in it. That's unfortunate. I hope it won't explode. But yeah, I will just launch with like 50, 60% throttle and likely not do full throttle run at all because I don't want a prop to explode right now. And I have no spare with me. Okay, let's get it in the air. So first a few quick pre-flight checks that everything moves in the right direction and then we can launch. I will dub that here afterwards in English because uh, during the flight I made German oh, announcements. Oh, 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 and oh, here oh, my panic kicked in because the plane was massively pitching up and down and I tried to get uh, my goggles down as fast as okay, possible yeah. because it also oh, launched into the sun and uh, was hardly visible. Oh, 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 as you can oh, see I have a lot of noise in the video. Um, this uh, is probably caused by either a bad flight controller or a bad ESC. I'm not sure right now. I wasn't able to fix that even with the capacitor, but for that there will be uh, a second video also. And uh, yeah, here I even switched into manual mode and I had still massive problems to control the pitch axis. Um, Every movement I made was ma extremely delayed and uh, didn't really react as I wanted it to. It felt a bit like the uh, servos would be stuck or would be frozen. That was the first thing I thought. But uh, on the roll axis everything was fine. So uh, my plan here was or my hope was that I can get the plane down um, as good as possible. Uh, without any damage but as you can see uh, I had barely any control over the pitch axis at this point I had to throttle up a little bit to get it a bit closer so I don't have to walk half a kilometer over the field and yeah I was fighting very hard to get it down I noticed that when I play with the throttle a little bit sometimes it stabilized a little bit uh, as you can see here uh, if I glide but then as soon as it gets slower come and come it started, come started come to come oscillate come again come but come I come managed come to get it down at this point so yeah this was pretty nerve-wracking but I got it down safely so let's get the plane and check what happened so yeah, I think I uh, messed up with the CG. It might be that it was massively tail heavy. Um, the reason why I didn't completely stall and flip over is just because it's a swept forward wing. Uh, when they stall, they actually move the center of lift towards the front, no, towards the back. 
so they get nose uh, they get nose heavy uh, when they stall so um, yeah I moved the battery a bit forward moved the CG 10 millimeter forward and now uh, let's try it again and hope that it works better this time Yes, das sieht sehr viel besser aus jetzt. As you could see on the DVR and of course my face, uh, this launch was much more successful. Whoa. No okay. pitch oscillation and completely straight out. And immediately I was really impressed how this plane flies. Uh, as you can see in the DVR, I'm in Acro mode. It's not tuned at all. It's completely on uh, default PID FF values uh, and also rates. So it was buttery smooth and here I switched into manual mode and even in manual mode after the continuous servo trim that it uh, did its thing uh, it was completely rock solid and didn't wriggle or uh, oscillate at all. So yeah I still have a lot of noise in the video feed here uh, I didn't make any change to that. Um, later after that day I have installed a capacitor on the ESC itself uh, and also a second one on the 5 volt rail but that didn't solve the issue. Uh, I'm not sure why, maybe it is because of the long cabling to the uh, from the nose camera back to the flight controller back to the noise uh, nose or maybe it is the ESC that is faulty or the flight controller that, that is faulty. I'm not sure right now. But this uh, noise will play a bigger role later. The only thing I noticed here was that the roll uh, speed, the roll rate was very low um, or at least lower than I have expected um, for such a small ring. Uh, pitch was totally fine. It was very agile. Uh, I can quickly pitch up. Uh, or do loops, but on the roll axis it is pretty uh, sluggish, maybe 180 to 200 degrees per second, um, and this is pretty low for a wing of that size. So yeah, as you can see, I tried uh, to fly around a little bit, uh, also checked for the current consumption. Uh, right now here I'm at 37% and it, it's putting 3.5 amps. The current sensor is not calibrated and I think that flight controller showed a little bit low, so it's, it might be a bit higher actually. But the uh, efficiency of this plane is uh, pretty high. Also uh, climbs are no problem at all with a three blade uh, quad propeller. It has a very high climb rate. I have not figured out uh, what the maximum climb rate is but in total it uh, felt really agile. What I have tested beforehand to also determine the launch throttle is that at 50 to 60 percent throttle around about the plane can go vertical already and this uh, this means with the 496 or 495 gram, gram it has now, uh, it can be used for a lot of aer aerobatics. Here did a stall test, so I cut the throttle completely, used manual mode and now I'm pitching all the way back, as you can see on my sticks uh, right now. And yeah, the nose bobs a little bit up and down, uh, I have still roll control, no issue there. And uh, the descent rate was about 1.5 to 2 meters per second uh, at 40 kilometers per hour ground speed. The wind was pretty low here. So the stall speed is around 30, 35 kilometers per hour because I had some tail, uh, yeah, tailwind at this point when I tested that. Um, so stalling, tip stalling, absolutely no option. That's the good thing about uh, swept forward wings because if they stall the center of lift shifts backward because the airflow goes inwards on the wings and this makes it nose heavy so the nose dips down if you stall instead of over the wings and this is uh, really helpful especially because the control surfaces are very far in the uh, uh, near the center of the fuselage or center uh, on the root of the wings. So yeah I didn't fly around too long here um, it was already getting very cold. 
I decided to go home at this point because I wanted to change the mixer settings and the control surface throw a little bit to get more agility for a next flight and that was also the reason why I didn't do an auto tune at this point. So here I'm coming in for landing. And this time it was a very easy and smooth landing, even with a very slight tailwind. And yeah, everything went well and no further damage. Okay guys, uh, that's it for now. Um, I think two flights now are enough. Uh, I have to see or I have to check with the developer uh, about the roll rate, that it's pretty low. Uh, pitch is very nice. I can show you now in manual mode. This is my control surface deflection for roll. It is already pretty high, but uh, yeah, it still rolls very relatively slow. On pitch, I have the same deflection, but pitch looks pretty good. Uh, even a little bit too high in my opinion. So I might re uh, change the mixer a bit to get more roll deflection and a little bit less on pitch. And uh, then the next time I can do the auto tune. Um, yeah, and unfortunately I had some slight damage as you can see here uh, on the first hard landing. No new damage now on the second landing. Um, maybe it has to do with the fact that I used some uh, clear um, uh, clear spray paint, uh, cover paint, uh, to soak into the material to make it a little bit more uh, rigid. But unfortunately, it seems to also have uh, it seems to also cause it to become more brittle. Um, yeah, for the next version, I will print. I won't do that. Uh, there will be a few replacement parts, uh, a few design changes on that one. So I will print a new one anyway. Luckily, the propeller uh, held up. But yeah, uh, I would say a successful first maiden. The CG is basically here at the front, near the uh, leading edge of the wing, because the fuselage itself also has a lifting body, so, so it, yeah, it works together with the wings, so the CG is very far forward. But this is actually good, because now I had to use the 1500 milliamp hour LiPo nearly all the way in the nose, so I know that I can later use 2200 milliamp hour LiPos as well and get pretty good flight time on it. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, I will call it a day for now. I also have another video to make and uh, I will show you the next version after I printed it and then we will see how well it really can fly.